Hey guys, and welcome back to The Completionist. Um, today, we are going to be um, starting our quest on the Viking battle for Asgard. Alright, come on, talk to me. Alright, let's see. Oh, all right. I saw you die. No, you didn't. Do I look dead, bitch? No. No, I'm not. You look tired. Yeah, really, really. You know, you, you know, you look fat as hell. Maybe you should have, you know, joined the Viking army and fought like a man. You pussy. Alright, so, ha can we run in here? Can we not run? No, oh, of course not. Alright then. Talk to me. Gold is a valuable currency. Alright, yeah, that gold is a valuable currency in any game, bro. So if I, you know, couldn't, you know, guess that one. God forbid in one game gold not be worth jack crap. But you don't see that happening. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are still, you know, wondering why I chose to do Viking um, Battle for Asgard. And one of the main reasons why is because this is probably on my top five favorite games of all time. Just because, honestly, I love the hack and slash, I love the brutality, and I love the blood of it. And just the combat and everything. And then, of course, I love the fact that you can actually raise your army. You know, so I really honestly like that a lot. I, I love the fact that you can actually go around and free your guys and build up your army. So, you know, I, I just think that that's really cool, in my own opinion. So, um, all right, let's see. So, what do we have to do now? Um, all right, so we... All right, let's see. I think that we must go up there to that hill. And I talk to this guy. Why are, why are you still green? All right, so, yeah, okay. So, we got to go back up there. Or we got to go up the... Go up here to this hill. Sorry, guys. I cannot seem to be... You know, to talk correctly today. Hey, you should have seen me this morning trying to order something from a from a um, food place this morning. God, that was just terrible. Oh shit! And yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, bad. Owned. Owned. See, I just I don't even know why. I just love the brutality. All right, so there's got to be an enemy around here somewhere. Here, if I'm crouched, so all right, let's see. Mark that. All right, so now I got to go this way. All right. Gonna hide in these bu Ooh, yeah, smell the flowers. Smell the flowers. Alright. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. You ain't sneak up on me, bitch. Uh uh. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Goodbye, arm. Chop. So, I mean, look at that. I mean, come on. How can you not love a game that's got that in it, for God's sakes? I mean, come on. And that is now why this game is probably on my top five. Not just for the brutality and, you know, and everything else, you know, that'd be a little bit weird, but no. No, mainly just because of how much freaking fun it is. Oh, I'm about to get my ass whooped. Plus, I mean, come on. This is probably one of the most fluent combat motivated games that's a hack and slash of its time. Considering that, um, this game pro- what? Hit him! Hit him! Thank you, jeez. Oh, God. Alright, so you see, you see, look at this. Look at this. What other game can you actually free your own Vikings and raise your own army? So basically, this is kind of sort of like, how do you miss an urn that big? Oh, look at that. I just got 76 gold. See, but I don't know. To me, this is just probably one of the funnest games that I've ever laid my hands on and actually played. Just because, one, have you guys ever played this game and seen how freaking massive the battles are? I mean, the friggin' battles in this game are huge. And when I say huge, I mean huge. And trust me, you, you guys should see in a little while just about how big the battles actually are and how big that they can be. Because, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy, in my own opinion. But anyway, that that's really one of the main reasons why is because a lot of games places you've been before nowadays do not actually do that anymore. They do not, you know, try to include massive scale battles or just, you know, or any kind of like strategy to the game. I mean, heck, a lot of them are like, you know, Call of Duty and they require almost no strategy and you just run through them in a matter of, you know, hours. This game I've probably put like probably put at least Maybe, I don't know, probably total by myself, I'll probably even start recording this. I've probably at least put at least maybe 30, 30 hours plus into this game. And I still have not managed to beat it. Why, you guys ask? I mean, I'm pretty sure there are some guys out there that have beat this in a matter of, you know, matter of a few days. 
but I don't know. Mainly because I was actually trying to enjoy the game because this game is actually really fun. And as you can see here, I mean, yeah, there's a ton of guys here just, you know, for like the start of the game. But as you can see, I'm already getting my ass whooped. So basically, good luck trying to, you know, solo almost anything by yourself because it's just... I mean, heck, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this, because the ma I mean, like, there are just that many guys here. But, I mean, hey, I mean, you can see it right now, heck, I've killed at least 20 of these guys. Oh, okay, sweet, okay. L2 is to defend yourself. See, it's been a while since I've even played this game. So, I mean, what do you expect? And get chopped off. Eh, no, you don't. No, you don't. There you go. Yep, die, die. Oh, get stabbed, and then, oh, man, I thought he was going to start hacking him to death, dang it. Come on, bro. Come at me. Yeah, yeah, jazz whooped. Uh oh, oh, get your arms chopped off. And oh, there you go. Yep. Uh oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Get yeah, get raped. Get raped. Yep. There you go. See, I mean, like, come on. What other games do you actually free your own guys out of somewhere and have them added to your army, and you actually have to build up your army to actually fight the main boss? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a just finger finger bang circle over here look look at all these guys yeah yeah look at these guys now had I snuck in here before and freed these guys look at this they're actually smart enough to help you look at this see they don't just you know like Call of Duty they, they don't get freaking you know they just don't just go jerk off in a corner by themselves no they actually man up grow some nuts and help you in battle you wanna know how freaking helpful this is in, in, in this game I mean because without them you would get your ass whooped hands down 24 7 so thank god for those guys you need a finger bang circle again to open up this chest, and there we go. Oh yeah. Look at that, look at that. Hill Hillshire Farm liberated. Oh yeah. Go meet, oh yeah. See, and now these guys are just gonna, you know, chill up here, or they might even go back to the main base, I don't know. Point being, they're now my minions, and I'm now happy to have them. So, think what you want, they're helpful. You know, I like having them around. They're always a nice help. Alright, now let's see what this guy wants. Alright. Hello, sir. I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to you real quick. Uh, let's see what he wants. Do not heed the uh, world's yeah. Alright, right, whatever. Yeah, yeah, no lost. Yeah, okay. right, yeah. Oh, that, that's, that's a little bit sense. creepier. What are you like my uncle that used to touch me? Because you know, that that might be a little bit weird. I might have to come back and kill you sometime for that, you know, just saying. Can I break into this? No. Of course not, Dad Gummer. Oh, oh, here we go. Almost missed some gold. Give me my sacks. Yep, there we go. Yep, heck. You know, Vikings can always use, you know, bigger sacks. Alright, now let's see. Now what do I have to do? Uh. Obtain the battle horn and liberate one more Viking clan. Alright. Uh. And have. Bring them will both through your armory. Alright, the. Yeah. Uh, take the dragon ammo there to summon the beast to your allegiance. Alright then. Alright, um, let's see. Alright then. Um. So now where do I go? I'm, I'm assuming that I go back home, which is fine by me, I guess. I keep on wanting to press something to run, even though there is no run in this game, which really, you know, blows a little bit. Oh, can I? Can I swim? All right, guys, I might kill myself, but um, you know, yeah, we're about to find. Ah, oh, you can't swim. That's bullshit. Kind of Viking can't swim. All right, well, all right. That's the first time I've died. All right, I'll admit that one. That one was stupid. Point being, that's bullshit. The Vikings can't swim. But at least I didn't have to walk all the way back home. You know, It'd be kind of nice. You know, you just die and then respawn somewhere, and bam, you don't have to walk all the way back. And then you jump off a cliff where there's water. Good thing there are no water fountains in this game. I mean, because hey, I'm assuming that it would be like insta kills. Oh, you're thirsty? Oh, yeah, well, too bad. Go, go kill yourself somewhere. Alright, there you go. Feed would make it alright. <coughs> I could just drink myself. Alright, um, it says mead. So, um. Okay, alright, um. Alright, well, I did that one. Yep, did that one. Yeah, alright, um. Alright then, um, hmm, alright then, alright. So apparently I gotta go find some lost cargo now. Sorry about that little setback right there. Of course, I'm actually going to go down here, I think, and try to liberate those guys that I saw on the beach. Real quick, and then I think after we liberate those guys, we're gonna end the episode here. But, um, let's go over here and free these guys first, shall we? Yeah, let's go, alright. I think, I think that they were over here somewhere, weren't they? 
Can I even free these guys, or are they already dead? You would better not be dead if I'm walking all the way over here just saying. If you're dead, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, that's what I got to find is mead. All right, well then. Hey, yay, they're not dead yet. Yay. Yay, plus three for Jason's army. Yay. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the forces, boys. Are there any more? Or is that it? Is that all of them? Or something? Or what? Don't die, don't die. Don't die. Alright, good. God. Thought I was gonna drown myself there for a second. Since apparently I cannot swim. That is just complete and utter bull crap, in my own opinion. Oh well. Uh, those guys are running back up there. At least they can run. They can run, I can't. More bullshit right there, but oh well. Still, still an amazing game. I don't care what anybody says. Alright. Oh, you have some more Vikings over here. Oh, and some more mead. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming that mead is beer. Something like meal. Uh, mere? Yeah, yeah. So, something like mere. Told you guys I cannot talk to that. I do not know what the, no, what the hell wrong with me. I was going to free these guys. And then we'll be done with the episode right here. All right, there you go, boys. Have fun. Um, apparently I'm just going to smack the pole real quick. But, um... All right, you guys. Thank you for... Thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy enjoyed you know enjoyed yourself you know got a little bit of entertainment out of it you know you know and I hope that I've proven that Vikings apparently cannot swim apparently you know because if they just jump off of a cliff they just will not live even if there's water below it you know they'll drown so you know be careful if you're of Viking descent you'll probably drown if you ever go swimming or probably drink out of a water fountain I don't know but alright guys I think right here is where I'm going to end it at so um I will be sure to um, record my next episode and pick up right here where I left off. So, alright, guys, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, no, 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 I'm sorry, not if. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yes, there we go. Sorry, right, guys, I will see you next time.